Acting is easy, they say. Well, you've seen some of my videos, right? Believe me, it ain't that easy. A great actor needs to be able to lie convincingly, inhabit their character, and deliver their lines in such a way that they believe and the audience trusts is the truth. That's why an incredibly handsome six-foot millionaire like myself can never be a good actor. I'm simply not good at lying. But you know who is a great actor? Leonardo DiCaprio. And so I'll stick to what I know, height, and try to answer the question of just how tall Leonardo DiCaprio really is. In terms of stature, Leo was a bit of a late bloomer. If you look at him here at almost 17 with Michael Cudlitz, he looks like a little 14 year old boy and barely even 5 foot 7. By the time DiCaprio was appearing in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, he was taller than Johnny Depp. But what height does Leo claim? An article from the year 2000 described Leo as 5 foot 11 and 175 pounds. Now, whether DiCaprio claimed that mark or the journalist simply described him as such is unknown, but on CelebHeights.com, a former contributor once met Leo and they talked about his height. Glenn Cunningham, aka Big G, is roughly 5 foot 7. I know he wants to be known as 5 foot 8, but let's get real. I'm a solid 5 foot 8, and Glenn was under 5 foot 7 in the evening. Anyway, when he met Leo, he asked him how tall he was, and DiCaprio claimed that he was 6 foot tall, and sometimes could look taller because of the footwear. In fact, that figure was mentioned in another article, when Leo commented upon the one thing that people are surprised about when they meet him in person. He's taller than they assumed. You know, I think Martin Scorsese would agree with that too. Leo's appeared in many wonderful films and acted alongside some of the best names in the business, with Catch Me If You Can co-star Tom Hanks, who also claims to be six foot tall, Leo looks closer to five foot eleven than the six foot he claimed. With Once Upon a Time in Hollywood co-star Brad Pitt, who claims to be five foot eleven, Leo seems to have the edge on Brad in many shots. However, on some occasions, their height can seem indistinguishable. Inception is my favourite DiCaprio movie, and with Tom Hardy, who claims 5 foot 9 and in person is a solid example of that, Leo looks a couple of inches taller. But what about with someone who we know was actually measured, like for instance, your favourite president, no, not Trump, President Joe Biden, who at the time he met Leo was actually measured at 5 foot 11 and 5 eighths in socks, and standing with Leo, he makes Leo look about 5 foot 11, definitely not a 6 footer there, unless you believe that Joe Biden is a left wearer, which frankly is ridiculous. And what about with everybody's other favourite president? No, still not Trump, President Barack Obama, who is a good example of a solid 6 foot 1 and with Leo, again makes him look about 5 foot 11. And what about with everybody's future favourite president? Well, future Martian president Elon Musk, who claims to be 6 foot 2 and on one occasion was quite specific, 6 foot 1 and a half, well with Leo, he makes him look roughly around 5 foot 11. You know, on CelebHeights.com I give Leo 5 foot 11 and a quarter, and the more I see of him, that's pretty much the highest I could go, and DiCaprio really could be 5 foot 11 on the nose.